Hi and welcome to another Tarkov Tactics video. This time you are on custom, still in the last wipe patch, trying to find some shooter bone in heaven kills. We spawned near river, so very good spawn for what we are trying to do. There are some close spawns you have to be worried about, but I take the risk and try to sprint to the other side. My main weapon is RFB using 7.62x51 mm caliber and I'm using M61 rounds. I was scanning area across the river for around 1 minute when I heard footsteps nearby. We know exactly where he is going, so I try to anticipate his movement with grenade. Can't hear any movement, he either was far away or we just killed him. Just in case I throw a second nade. Checking if he maybe tries to retreat. It's dead silent, so I throw some more nades and try to check from the other side. I pre aim and try to check from small angle, not risking pushing yet. I thought I saw him, shooting just in case. I waited around 2 minutes, patiently waiting for his move. Zero sounds, time to sneak in. And this is why staying too long in common crossing area can lead to some nasty encounters. Looks like 2 or 3 players. Staying near the bush edge made it a little harder to spot us, or we just won on this lottery this time around. Usually it's a good idea to change your location once you are discovered. If against steam, you can expect some nades flying your direction. Moving out will also give you another opportunity to set an ambush. That was a close one. I'm pretty sure they will start pushing at one point, so I just patiently wait. Looks like there is one more. I made a little risky run from that night, but I guess it was a better chance than risking dying to random shrapnel. We should have some time to reload. My current is almost gone, also when in tight spot always prioritize hitting your thorax first. Looks like an enemy is making his move. Picking like this outside the bush is risky when an enemy knows you are nearby, but having that clear line of sight is just too good. Also, with a little concealment we should gain split second to finish our enemy before he realizes what's going on. ADS sound gave away his position. He also didn't clear other bushes, thinking I'm still in the first one, throwing the nade there. 
Looks like our quick relocation paid off big time. Okay, time to reload Max and fully heal. Not hearing anybody else, but we will check immediate area as usual and then commit to looting. ADS and try to clear the corner using slicing the pie technique. Basically checking small angle and then going more and more, hoping I will be able to spot an enemy and have him right on my crosshair. I'm going slow, not making any unnecessary sounds, also checking all the bushes that are in front. Time to collect all that juicy loot. My enemy was using the same gun, so I dropped mine for some extra profit. It should come back in insurance if you're lucky enough. Making sure my magazines are full and loaded with good ammunition. Also unpacking other magazines to gain some space for more loot. Quick check for some sneaky enemies and time for some more looting. When gun is not worth that much I usually strip it for parts like in case of this ADR. Nine by nine is millimeter, seven and thirty one ammo is very good and pricey, so I unpack it from Max and move to secure container. That Gen 4 armor was on a similar durability level compared to my current, so I went with another insurance scam for some value but didn't realize durability change after I equip it. I noticed it a little later and it impact my further decision making in this raid. I see ZBO 13 is available, but my plan is to move through warehouse area and use shortcut. As you can see we are moving very slow now. Gen 4 movement armor reduction plus being overweight is a killer combo. Sadly not in a good sense. Somebody is nearby. I suspect it could be a scuff, but just in case I go slow to stay undetected. Minus one. Sleep well, my friend. I made a lot of noise, so I changed my plan. I will go for Stronghold and use ZBO-13 Extraction. It's later in raid, so probably it's not necessary, but you never know in Tarkov. Looks like we are not alone on the map.
Not sure if that's a higher player, so I take it slow. I have decent loot, so I don't want to go all in and lose it in the process. Again, it's late in raid, so chance of somebody sniping me from crack house is quite low. We go in slowly, check all the corners and move towards extraction. Being overweight can drain your stamina, same for crouch walking. I missed that and we made some unnecessary noise with that heavy breathing. And here we go, ninja style, securing all that nice loot we found. Alright, that's all in this one, thanks for watching and see you in raids!